Well, that was a beating. Arsenal ran riot at London Stadium. Yeah, that was a riot. The first half, incredible. Gabriel Saliba, Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Magalesh, and Trossard. Four goals in the first half. Incredible. And guess what? The stadium was already empty in the first half. West Ham fans are like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch this crap anymore. I'm gone. I spent my money to come watch this crap. I'm out. And let's start by talking about Declan Rice. Two assists in the first half. I think you could tell the freedom in him. I think he was like, you know what? I'm done with this crap, man. Because they booed him in the first uh, two games that uh, he played against them since he joined Arsenal. They booed him. They are not happy about him. But remember that uh, he used to be your captain. He won you European Cup, right? He qualified you for Europa League. He put you in a very good position in the league. And with his money... You managed to rebuild that West Ham midfield. The entire team in general. His money, they brought somebody like Kudus. Alvarez. Okay? James uh, was prowse They brought uh, Mavapanos. So many players with uh, Declan Rice money. So why would you continue to boo him? And today, he was like, you know what? I play for Arsenal now, and he doesn't feel that obligation. You know, in the first two games, he was like, am I playing for Arsenal or West Ham? Now, there's no doubt anymore. He's an Arsenal player. And this is how you pay big bucks. A leader, absolutely baller. Congratulations to the clan Rice. Bukayo Saka, 50 goals already for Arsenal in a very young career. Wow, congratulations. Imagine when he is like 24, 25. How many goals Bukayo Saka is going to score for Arsenal? This is a legend in the making. You like him, you hate him, you have to admire the quality from Bukayo Saka. The student schooled the teacher. David Moyes, who used to be Mikel Arteta's manager back at Everton, got a lesson of football from Mikel Arteta today. And the set pieces. You have to admire Arsenal because before they used to be awful defending set pieces and scoring from set pieces. Since they came back from Dubai warm camp, they are scoring from set pieces for fun. Gabriel Magalesh can't stop scoring. Gabriel Saliba, all their defenders know where to be during set pieces. And that is an evolution here. Second half, I think Arsenal decided to take it easy. Until 62nd minute, they scored the fifth goal. But they slow the tempo a little bit. They are like, you know what? We have the Champions League coming. We have other competitions coming. We have to save some energy. And you don't want to get injured. 65th minute. Declan Rice definitely said goodbye to the Hammers by scoring the sixth goal for Arsenal. He didn't celebrate, but he should have celebrated because the way they've been treating him is so bad so 65th minute 6-0 for Arsenal David Moyes job is on the line many Hammers don't want him as a coach anymore they think that he's a, a very defensive coach who is not allowing players to play football but 
if you look at his record in Europe and even in the Premier League in the last few years, been very good. But West Ham fans say that uh, with the quality that they have, the money that they got, they should be playing much better football than just playing for a result. Let me know in the comment section down below if David Moyes should be sacked after this horrible result. 6-0 at the end. Arsenal decided even to give a chance to some youngsters from the academy, which is good to see. This is their biggest away result in the Premier League. So another record uh, broken by Mikel Arteta and Arsenal here. I think it's a very, very happy day for the Gunners. And they're still really on top there fighting for the title. Nothing is done yet. I know that Manchester City still got like a one game in hand or whatever it is. But they have to stay there. They have to stay in the first, second, third, fourth position and uh, keep fighting. And let's see what's going to happen at the end. Let me know in the comment section down below who's going to win the Premier League 2023-2024.